This tutorial is brought to you by flbeattutorials.com. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to add effects to individual channels or instruments within your channels window or step sequencer here. So uh, just have a clap here, nothing special, uh, just for this tutorial. So you can hear that real quick. Okay, and I also have my mixer open here. If you do not see your mixer, you can just come up here to view and click on mixer. Since mine was open when I did that, it closed it. So I'm just gonna go back up and view mixer. All right, so I have that up and I want to assign this track to a mixer channel. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, there's hotkeys for it and there's, uh, you know, there's also ways you can do it here. Since, uh, since I'm in here, you have the green LED right here. So I can just right click, link selected channels to this track. So now I have my clap that's up here, uh, down here. I can also, with that selected, I can hit Control L. And now you can see it's assigned to this track. And uh, one other way to do it is uh, you can also assign it from this right here. And this is just your channel settings window. Uh, but I just want to leave it on 8 and we'll work from there. So still have our same sound here. Nothing's changed yet. So now that I have channel eight selected in my mixer, I want to add an effect to it. Uh, for To make this simple, we'll just add some reverb to it. So like I said, channel eight is selected. If I come over here to the right and uh, my first insert slot here and just hit the drop down and I can pick any of the effects that I have here. And uh, for this case, we're going to use fruity reverb too. Now you can see that Fruity Reverb 2 now shows in the first effects slot. So let's take a listen now. So you can hear we got a nice little reverb effect on our clap now. Now you can uh, add multiple effects here. That's why you have the eight different slots. You can come in here and say, uh, now you wanna add a delay. So let's, uh, let's grab the Fruity Delay. Now we got a, a reverb and a delay, so let's listen to that. All right, so this was just a short tutorial to show you how to actually add the effects to the channels. I don't want to get in depth right now with, uh, you know, what you can do with different effects. We'll save that for a later date. But yeah, this is just a basic way of adding effects to your channels. And you can really do a lot with effects and uh, they can make a huge difference in your tracks. So please make sure you learn this early and uh, start applying this to your tracks and uh, get an understanding of the different effects and what they can do and uh, go from there. Thanks for watching.